Hi, Robert Allen McRae here, and I am here with Marla Martinson. Marla Martinson is a Hollywood matchmaker. She is exceptionally well connected in the dating world and understands it very well. It's been 12 or more years. She's been absolutely ex exceptional in understanding and portraying uh, to these men that matches are possible and they can bring a great experience to your life. And uh, Marla today is, uh, is uh, lives in Hollywood, California or near Hollywood, California. And uh, she's just joining the blab in the second here. Are you, oh, are you here? Yay, Marla. Nice to have you here today, Marla. And thank you everybody for joining. And when Marla jumps on, you guys can ask questions in the chat. The chat down here, when Marla's on here, she'll give her a little um, uh, orientation about what she does and who she's about. But ask her questions, get in deep um, and understanding what makes a match really work, why you would want to even use Marla, and what it would make a difference in um, in your life and why it would make, you know, why, why is it significant for you to be here? And, um, and why is it significant to have a match that is right for you? So in just a second here, Marla is jumping on. I'm not sure what the different, yep. <laughs> So it's called Yeah. Well, you are on at the moment. You you do come on the panel uh, and it's going to work in this moment. You're you're should be on the panel. I might need to just maybe just something clicking. Yeah, so, woohoo! There we go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I got it. it yours should be on right now, so it's like an internet connection. Um, Do you actually see her when she pops on? Yeah. So maybe you try to get her on. I don't really understand why I'm not, I keep pressing the button for her to be on. I think it, what happened is that she doesn't have an internet connection. Um, So yeah, we're waiting for Marla Martinson. She is a Hollywood matchmaker. She is really, really, really exceptionally well, does really well at matching men up with women. And she does that very, she has a system down that has worked for many years, understanding what the man goes through when she, when the man is really, really busy and he's working all day long. He doesn't pay any attention to, um, he has love life and he's just absolutely in a place where it com he comes home at nights and he really wants a companion to actually be there. So I really, you really got to hear Marla. Marla has a really, in a lot of insight and a lot of knowledge of what a, what a good woman would be for a man, a man that has um, exceptionally uh, a busy, a busy schedule, and wants someone by his side to really comfort him and uh, not so much comfort him, but just be, just be an equal to, uh, 
understanding and a relationship. And Marla works with you on that. And all she she also makes a it makes it really really exciting to um, have her here because she has the 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 knowledge. She always has the experience too to really understand why you would make the difference why this woman would make the difference in your life so because after a while when you do a couple of matches you get the idea of what works for somebody and what doesn't work for someone and there she is hey she is amazing (laughs) oh my goodness what a morning what a morning what a morning what a morning, guys, what a day. Yes, I got hacked on Instagram. I did not post those pornographic images. It was so funny because people were emailing me saying, hey, Marla, I think your Instagram might have been um, hacked. Like, think, like, oh, possibly I put those pictures of those women's crotches on, on my site, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing how that happens, isn't it? That gets rollers out there that just actually will place images on your site. Yeah, then you got to clean them up. I don't know. Do they get your password somehow? Do they guess it? Is yeah. that? Oh, it's not hard to guess your password. <laughs> it's not really? That encrypted. Oh my uh, god! None of this stuff is encrypted enough. So there is. I mean, it could be. I think it eventually gets encrypted more and more. But no, it's not really. I got to keep changing it. Keep mixing it up. Yeah, and that's not so much the passwords as it is your username. Oh. You want to know a trick? Yes, Thank everybody you. wants to know this. Everybody wants to know this part. It, you, what is it's it? not, it's, yeah, it's your username. How do they hack you through your username? That's, well, no, not so much. Hack, uh, I mean, just change your usernames on, uh, on, your, uh, on, your, on your program. So it's not always your email address. It's something else. Hmm. Oh, okay. How to get in. Okay. Yeah. I was yeah. connected with Facebook, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're You're gonna talk up. it's february's coming up valentine's day's coming and uh you know that can be put a lot of stress on people oh well you know you just went through that a little bit ago with having because <laughs> that's not the image you'd want to portray <laughs> <laughs> exactly yes so what what i just did when you guys, when you go on a first date, don't show up all frazzled and tell tell them, oh, my Instagram just got, <laughs> and and be all, yeah. you know, calm yourself first. Like I have an appointment later and I should have done it now. But this is good because I'm glad I did this so I can use you this. You can speak. You can actually speak. Yeah. Use this moment and show what not to do as a do- dating tip. Don't um, compose yourself because sometimes we come from work. We come from a stressful meeting or we have an argument with someone or maybe you had a little, you know, your car got hit or something, whatever. Take a moment before you're going to go meet that person. Mm. Breathe, maybe meditate even five minutes, three minutes, center, center yourself and then be present for that person. I'm, I'm present for you now, Rob. <laughs> Good. So are you trying to say that being present in the moment, listening to that other person and acknowledging their presence and where they're at and what they went through that day is a really good place to start from. Right, because if you arrive like a whirling dervish with, you know, all this angst and and drama, they're going to, they don't know you yet. So uh, they might think, whoa, drama queen or too much or what's going on or she can't handle things. So you want to portray a calm and centered um, personality and persona you know even if so wait wait a minute but wait not even a minute 30 seconds yeah and then speak and then you can freak out after the date if you have to you know go home and like Uh, (laughs) but it doesn't take much to make it really (laughs) impressive it it really yeah as long as you pay attention you go wow Look at it because most of the time they do see a picture of the person before they go out with them. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, so yeah, then, like when, when I match people, they see the picture and profile. Yes. Yes. So uh, 90% of the time, the men are, are already excited because they already said yes to how was someone already beautiful. Exactly. The, the men get to see the pictures. Some companies, uh, dating services, don't show photos. I used wow. to work for a service that didn't. 
And yes, it was much easier as a matchmaker uh, because a lot of guys will turn down matches because the photo guys are so visual. Unfortunately, they get stuck on, on the photos and the looks. Uh, I understand that that's how the male is wired. Uh, they have to like what they see before they want to know more. Um, and it was easier for me as a matchmaker just to say, look, I've selected this person. I know this woman. I know your type. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the guys, they won't join. They don't want to sign up if, they, if they're not going to be able to see photos. So we, sh we do show photos. And, we, and the women want to see photos, too. So we show it both ways. Makes it more challenging for me, but the clients are happier, happier in the end with it. So what makes you the distinction that why would they choose you when they would say, okay, you know, I want this girl, because you give them that whole description of what the girl's about, a background of them and, the, and, and what their, their vocation is and how they can actually, um, how, how detailed do you get, actually get with the male client? Well, I get, for example, tonight I'm going to be meet, meeting someone and we're going to sit down for a couple of hours and, and um, go through his lifestyle, what he's looking for. I'll get to know him. It's great. I, a lot of times I'll go to the men's homes. You know, I love that. Get to see how they live, their, their, their uh, lifestyle and uh, taste and everything. And, and then from there, it's all along the way. It's kind of like a little family. So I'll be getting mm. to know them. I'll be getting feedback. We'll be in touch which is great. And the women I've met either in person, Skype or FaceTime, depending on their location. And uh, we get quite detailed in the profile, but you really, you look, you could have a 800 page book on somebody, everything. But in the end, if there's no chemistry, there's no chemistry. Mm -hmm. You don't need to dig into every detail of their life. It's, you know, people really don't do that. If you meet someone at a party or at a bar or out at an event at the supermarket, if you have a spark, then you go on a date, you want to meet, you don't have to get a whole report first. So I'll know the main, the basics of what they're looking for, looks wise, personality, lifestyle, and then we'll go from there and see if there's any, the chemistry is the most important, and then you can find out more. So like you said, the chemistry, but see, there's other aspects of that, that I think are really uh, precious gems that you offer because there is some basics that if we, if you understand what the male is like, you know how to find the right female that matches up the patterns, the belief systems, things like that. You can, uh, you can um, match people up accordingly so they can be uh, treated in that relationship in a way that really sets them up to succeed. Like understanding, um, old belief patterns that maybe the, the, the lady has never had that. So the guy picks the same woman out of a hundred people. You've just interrupted that pattern. Yes, we do. We do interrupt some patterns. We did have a guy that was um, always choosing the train wreck, the, the girl that looked like Pam Anderson, but maybe had daddy issues, some drug issues, alcohol issues, low self-esteem, whatever. She was needy, needed someone to take care of her, but was very beautiful and, fun and all of that. But he said, uh, just find me. I've got to get out of this pattern. I, I tend to just keep picking these girls that just, it drains me out. And so uh, we started matching him with some women that were beautiful inside and out, but were a lot more stable, that had good relationships with their parents, that, you know, came from a good home, that had a good background and that were more grounded and had their mm. house together. And he was so he says, oh, my God, this is just so great. So because he wasn't picking right. So he said, you pick for me. <laughs> <laughs> so some people really the, need it. Now, some guys will just come to us because they, they know they could pick, but they're so busy. They're maybe a busy doctor, attorney, business owner, traveling, and they're just they don't want to sit there and go on the Internet or go out or try to connect with somebody. So they'll just hire us. And they're pretty easy. Then there are people like this other gentleman who had these issues and were kept picking the wrong uh, for whatever self-esteem issues or whatever issues that went back in his life. Um, and then there's people in between. So, and we do have great coach on the team. If anybody needs a coach, we have, we can set them up with uh, makeup, uh, not makeup, um, makeover. Uh, you know, we will tell them sometimes, look, you know, you want to attract a younger woman. You're going to have to look fresher and younger, get your teeth whitened. Let's get it up to the board, <laughs> frames in your glasses, get your hair cut. <laughs> And because sometimes guys will just, they're busy. They're not thinking about makeovers and teeth whitening. And, uh, but they want to attract some 
you know, beautiful younger woman. So you've got to step it up and we'll help with that. Cool. So it's really, if a if, if, if person really has a great opportunity to really understand um, what a woman really would be, uh, be for them, because a lot of times these people, these men sometimes work years and are doing the same job and they're really engrossed into the work and they really are passionate about it, but they've never taken the time to experience love. Yeah, and they work so hard on their careers. Gosh, if they're a doctor, they could have been in school for nine years or a decade or something. And and uh, they're, they're, the hours are, are crazy. And mm-hmm. and I've, and some engineers maybe don't have that. They're, they work alone or focused with the computer and they don't have the social skills or they just need some help with it because mm. sometimes the focus is unbalanced and people will focus on uh, career. And even women, they'll be they'll miss out on having children because they've been focusing on their career and getting in like, just like at working as hard as a man. And, and uh, the way society's set up now, it's pretty much the way it is. You've got to make things are expensive. You've got to make a living. You've got to take care of ourselves. And these, that one component that everyone just wants mm. love sometimes is elusive or gets put on the back burner. Mm. Yeah, because you got to do the other things in order to function in life. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Darn. If everyone could just win that big lottery, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's... Uh, we can pay all the bills money. and put our focus only on love. But, you know, unfortunately, we're in the real world here. <laughs> 200 and some 90. I mean, there is some big lottery. Oh, I guess there was somebody a won a billion dollars or something. Isn't that nice? I was in that. I played in that. You know, that was... It's fun. It's fun to be... My husband's like, oh... You know, there's no chance. I said, yeah, but it's just fun to be a part of it. Just play it out. Two bucks. Yeah, is that <laughs> what it is? <laughs> Two bucks for that big one. It's just like love. It's like some people will get maybe bitter or like, oh, there's no good people out there. I'm, it's not going to happen for me. Or maybe I'm too old or I don't know. Or maybe I'm mm-hmm. too fat or too thin or too whatever. And uh, don't count yourself out. You can't, you can't win if you don't play. So... So, so yeah. let's play. <laughs> play, play, have fun with it. <laughs> but love's a play. We get to play in love too. Yes, yes. Yeah. And that's that's the important part of it. Well, Marla, you know, I really, really, I've I've had you on here before, and you've been an exceptionally uh, powerful uh, presentation in the way the presence that you bring across. What makes you um, the best at what you do? <laughs> the best. I'd say I'm one of the best. Um, there's a lot of good matchmakers out there, but I think what it takes to be a good matchmaker is I took my people skills. I was a I was in the restaurant industry for 20 years. I was an actress. I was so I was always dealing with people. I was always um, trying to make people happy, right? So you you've got to realize that that these people really at the core, everybody just wants love. They're just trying to find that special person to spend their their life with. Um, I avoid looking at that fairy tale that we all grew up with that Prince Charming is coming and you know women tend to think okay he's going to be tall dark and handsome six feet make a million dollars. We've got to break down some of those um, old fairy tales old paradigms exactly but and find somebody really special for you Um, and that's what I do. Now somebody here Yasin says since 30 years and I can't find my soulmate how old are you? Because I'll bet you're only 30. Let me know, Yassine. Are you still there? I think the picture doesn't look like he's 60 or anything. So this always puzzles me. So let's say you're 30 and you say, oh, for 30 years I've been looking for my soul. No, you haven't. You, at five years old, you weren't looking for your soulmate. At 10, you weren't looking for your soulmate. At 15, no, you haven't. He's 30 years you, old. He is well, 30. I, yeah, he says, I'm 30. You haven't been looking for 30 years for your soulmate. Maybe 10. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, and yeah, even yeah. at 20, you're too young. So you've seen you're, you're, you're in the perfect age now. You've hopefully gone through your schooling and you're in a career and you're getting all this. And now it's a good time to put that vibration and that focus and that, you know, allowing out for that perfect woman for you to come into your life. So, so don't... Uh, count those growing up years as, as uh, missed opportunities to get married. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
For sure. And, you know, and that's in, and, and through our twenties, we, those, those are, those are awesome years. <laughs> they're awesome. And they're, I mean, mine was like, Oh my God, my, my, my first name was drama. My last name was queen. You know, it was like, <laughs> it was crazy, ridiculous. All those hormones flying and all this stuff. I was just really in and out of relationships. And so the twenties is really kind of to, to have fun. I encourage guys to go out with a lot of girls because if you're going to get married, at uh, 35 or 40, you want to make sure you don't feel like, so if you're going to be married for another 40 years, you don't want to feel like you've missed out on anything and, and then want to cheat or, or flirt mm-hmm. or, or on the workplace. Mm-hmm. Or so go get, get it out of your system. Date as many pretty girls as you can so that you don't feel like you missed anything. That's what, wow. that's what, I, that's what I say. And women too, go out with, with people, see who is the right fit. Don't just glom onto the first person who likes you, you know, see, see what's out there and take care of yourself who's going to be a good fit for you. Don't think, you know, that desperation, you know, will, will he like me? Will he call me back? You know, do you want him to? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want him to come back? For sure. Wow. That's a, it's an inspirational. So the, so did you actually get the Instagram handle? <laughs> Not yet. Uh, working on it. It's, it's very complicated. I didn't, I forgot my, I don't know my password. So I'm trying to deal with it that way. So. <laughs> it's okay. That, we'll that, yeah. Look, I don't. I hardly even use it. I should just delete it. I don't even. I use Facebook. I use Twitter, and then I think I'm going to start using Pinterest when my new book comes out. Mm-hmm. Guys, if you want to read all about my crazy stories, I've got Diary of a Beverly Hills Matchmaker. It's available on Amazon awesome. in paperback and Kindle. Very fun memoir about my life. And then I did the sequel, which is called. Hearts on the Line, The Elusive Search for Love in the City of Angels. And you can just look up Marla Martinson on on Amazon. And I've got a fun short story up there called Amateur Night. It is because Valentine's coming up and it tells about one fateful night when I was a a single waitress in Chicago on (laughs) Valentine's. Because when I was when I was single, I, I always happened to be single on Valentine's and, and you know how younger women were like, oh, I don't have a Valentine. And I would take myself out to a nice, a, a, a nice um, restaurant, sit at the bar where I knew the bartender and I'd order myself a glass of champagne and a delicious lunch and I would treat myself and then I would go. Um, I remember even one one year some guy I knew asked me to accompany him to a jewelry store to try on earrings for his girlfriend. Wow. Earrings. And I was like, oh, I'm trying on earrings for some other woman. You know, I was like so depressed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, then I'd go and work at the restaurant. And uh, but it's OK. You know, I had my little dog to go home to. I had my mm. champagne lunch. I had my friends, my health. And uh, it's it's really a commercialized holiday and you can just make it fun you know make it fun don't make, make it, it all about, exciting don't make it all about if you have a boyfriend or a husband or a love a lover at that on that day come on now oh, that's powerful and it is and you know morally that is that is something true because it, it's it's about the the true feelings that you actually feel inside that make all the difference and you know you're having a special you're married now and you're happily happily married and been that way for a number of years and so it, it proved out to be really good for you to wait. Yeah, I was, uh, I met him when I was 39. Um, and uh, we've been together 15 years now. And oh, he's, incredible. he's Latin. So he's very passionate. He loves romance. He's always kissing me and hugging me. And I love you and you're beautiful and sexy. So he likes Valentine's Day. It's very cute. He'll <laughs> take me out to lunch. Give me a little gift, a beautiful mushy card, and all day long, how's my Valentine? So I'm lucky there. He really does. Because some guys are just, they don't even, they're clueless about it. <laughs> you no, know, it's not. Whatever. I, and I dated one guy where he clearly said, I hate Valentine's Day. And so I was like, okay, don't expect anything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, and it's, it's kind of fun. But, but it was funny. One year, uh, my husband Adolfo and I, we went to the Grove. We were going to go have go to a movie, go to see a movie, uh, Valentine's evening. And we drive there and there is not a spot to be had. It was packed. 
it was all because Valentine's Day and my husband's been saying, this is ridiculous now. Old ladies and kids are celebrating <laughs> Valentine's Day. What is going on? Yeah. And we had to valet park the car and the place was packed. But, you know, that's kind of fun. So now we're expanding it to anybody and everybody and just put, put the love out there. That's important. <laughs> that's, a, that's huge. Well, Marla, you know, this, this one was going to be a blab that was a little bit shortened. And I appreciate that because, you know, sometimes we pack a lot of information in this little bit, a little uh, tidbit here. Would, um, would, you, would you be open to having another blab here in a week? And do one just as small. I'll do a 15, 20 minute. Absolutely. We'll just do a little blab, you guys. And uh, um, you can find me at, um, I'll put my website okay. here. We have the, the you have any questions yeah. or anything. And uh, somebody said, I'm 22. Uh, you, you, you have yeah. plenty of time to even worry about a girl. <laughs> so, so enjoy your life. Figure out what you want to do for a career. Maybe travel, see the world, have fun. Don't, I always say, don't get married too young. Don't get pregnant. Uh, you know, under, you know, 25 for sure. Just enjoy yourself. Don't weigh yourself down. Life is beautiful. You're, when you're young, strong, and healthy, and curious, go live your life. Have some experiences. Have some wonderful things that you can think back on and things you can never get that time back. That's and true. Uh, marriage and kids are great, but not, you don't need to do it so young. That's something for later. That's my, that's my input from an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> And you're not from, an ex <laughs> from an experienced, more mature woman. All right. There you go. That's a mature woman. Well, thank you, Marla. I appreciate that. And yes, click the link in here and uh, go to Marla's site and also. Sign and our web and our, our um, the dating source, datingsource.com uh, for any professional men who want to. Hire us as matchmakers and any beautiful inside and out ladies who want to join for free, you can contact me at marlamartinson.com and I will take care of you. Yay. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Bye, Bye Marla. Everybody. Love you bunches. Bye-bye. Love you.